Hey guys, welcome to another server miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LGJim007 and today we're looking at the Mine Packs plugin. So this is a really awesome plugin that adds backpacks to your Minecraft server and what you can see here is the backpack in front of me. I've used it to store a few items and this is a really awesome plugin that works very very well in terms of backpacks. It's got some really cool features and you can customize the size of it. Now because I'm op, I have the biggest backpack here. Whereas for other players, you can give them a smaller one depending on the permission, which we will also look at. So if you don't want to use this item to open your backpack, you can also do the forward slash BP or backpack command to open it and take items in and out. Now, if you want to open someone else's, you can do the BP open followed by their username. If my other account was online, you can see he is not op, so he only has uh, a single line in his backpack. And obviously if he was a different rank, he could have multiple lines and a larger backpack. Now if you do forward slash BP clean, followed by someone's username, or if you just hit enter, that will clean everything from your backpack and delete everything. A really cool feature is that if you have a full inventory and you just walk over items, instead of not picking them up, they will go straight into your backpack. Now what you can do is forward slash BP reload if you've made any changes to the config file and you can do for such bp update to see if there is an updated version with potentially more features and one thing you might want to do is the for such bp backup command followed by someone's username and that would back up their information what items they have in their backpack in case for some reason server crashes something doesn't save or you need to reset it so that is pretty much how you use it in game as you can see it's very straightforward works really well and you have this cool little item which is your backpack that you store in your inventory but let's head over to the config file and see what we can change in there so here we are on the smp control panel and you can see there is a language folder and there is the backpacks database but if we go into the config.yml we can have a look at what's in here. So up at the top, we've got the English language that we're using. If we scroll down, we've got the backpack title. So it's uh, light blue and just says backpack. You could obviously change that and it would say an owner's name if it's not yours. Should you drop it on death? Now that's pretty interesting. Um, you could also give people the permission keep on death uh, if they have a special rank or admin or something like that. The max size, how big do you want it to be? Scroll down and we have the allow game mode, so you probably don't want people in creative using that. And then cool down until you can reopen it. Maybe it takes five seconds, just like in real life. Scroll down and this is what I was talking about regarding the full inventory. So if items should be collected to the backpack if the player's inventory is full. So you should probably set this to true as that is a pretty cool feature. And the collect radius, you could increase that if you want to in terms of block size. Scroll down a little bit, you can blacklist certain items um, for the backpacks, maybe TNT or bedrock, something like that, you wouldn't be able to put them in. And if you want to block it in a certain world, we can have a blacklist. So all worlds listed here are gonna be blocked. So make sure you put apostrophes here and inside write your world name. So, you know, creative. Go down, we've got the item shortcut. So uh, do you want that enabled? We saw that in game and it has a yellow name. And then the head texture is this one. You could obviously change that if you wanted to. Do you have a preferred slot? Could be a slot one or slot nine. And then do you want a sound when people open and close it? Yes or no. And that is pretty much everything in the config file. So here we are on the spigot page. You can see it's updated from 1.7 to 1.19. And if we scroll down, there's a nice image of what we just saw in game. And then if we go to permissions, you can see if you want a backpack size of two, which is two rows of nine, uh, you do dot two, dot three, dot four, up to six, etc. That is how you would give people who are different ranks, different backpack sizes. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serveminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.